<clears throat> hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a VOD review of a viewer, or a YouTube viewer. Um, we're going to call him Khan, and um, we are <clears throat> we are going to be first going over the six minute clip of his um, to see if he's practicing counter strafing correctly. So let's get into that right away. Um, because counter strafing is a really, really important mechanic, and it's something that everybody should be practicing, and it's something that you absolutely need to master. And right here, this is a really, really good way to start practicing your counter strafing, exactly what he's doing here. You want to really, really get used to the rhythm of counter strafing, um, and this is a super, super good way of getting used to that rhythm of A, D, A, D, where you constantly are moving your uh, body back and forth in between these two pillars right here. Now, what I would suggest is that you don't keep your mouse entirely still. You want to practice moving your mouse, um, whether it's just like moving it back and forth with your character and then shooting in different spots. Um, just make sure you're practicing moving your mouse as you're counter strafing so that it's like it's not like you're whenever you counter strafe you're just like letting go of your mouse pretty much um that's one thing that i would suggest and we're gonna switch this to two times um just to speed it up a little bit because um this is pretty pretty average um so your counter strafes are a little bit off here um what i would do is just slow it down because you see how you're shooting way too early right now you really 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 want to get that perfect one shot um, whenever or two shots whenever you're counter strafing and you seem like you do it a lot better with the vandal um, so what i suggest here is that you slow down a lot and you do a lot of tests so what i mean by that is whenever you're counter strafing it seems like you're doing it a lot earlier than you should so what you should be trying to do is doing it a lot later than you should and then figuring out in uh, the in-between uh, so to say <clears throat> okay, what are we doing now? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a really good exercise as well, where you're not just doing A and D back and forth. You're doing kind of sidesteps. This is a very good exercise. I commend this. I like this. Okay, let's see. What else are we doing with the Phantom? So these look a lot better with the Phantom than your A, D ones. So it seems like you have a bit more control uh, over these than you do your normal uh, counter strafes. So, which I think these are actually more important to um, be consistent with. So that's good, actually. This is another really good exercise. This is something that I do um, in my counter strafing YouTube video, I believe. So make sure that if you guys really need to master counter strafing, which should be most of you, then you guys should try all of these exercises out in your practice range so that you can get really good at doing them because they're super, super important. Now, right here, you can really, really tell that he doesn't have the mouse movement down as he's counter strafing, which is one of the more important factors. You can see that he's pre-aiming on the targets as he's counter strafing. So what you should be thinking about is where you're going to move your mouse as you counter strafe. And I can show that a little bit later in a game um, whenever I get into practice range, but for now we're just doing the bot review. Okay, and now we are doing um, bots where you're counter strafing. So this is actually a good way to um, practice counter strafing on uh, bots where you have a time limit. So you can set up medium bots or easy bots if it takes too long for you. And then you have a little bit of a time constraint where you need to perfect actually counter strafing. And you can see here that he really struggles with this. So this is a much better comparison of how the real world counter strafing is gonna look like. And you can see that as soon as a bot is put in front of him, all of his counter strafing knowledge kind of drops and what you really need to be doing here is not shooting the bots so if you're missing as much as you are right now with the bots then you need to stop shooting them so you literally just need to practice counter strafing back and forth and then moving your crosshair to the bot's head whether or not you shoot just don't shoot just track the bot's head and i'll show you guys a little exercise for that um, after we finish this little video um then we will go into the bot review. So that is your biggest issue here is that you are 
you're good at counter strafing normally uh, against everything else other than the bots against stationary targets and your biggest issue is that you're not moving your mouse with your counter strafes um and I will show you guys that now. So I think we're going to end this here. I believe that is the rest. So we are going to close this out, launch some Valorant. And I will go to the Valorant screen. Uh, let me just, uh, let me, let me uh, cover all this up. Oh, doesn't work. All right. They'll just know my login. It's easy. Might be able to cut this out or something. oopsies all right so wait i don't remember this account but either way so for counter strafing if you have the same issue that he does which is moving your crosshair as you're counter strafing then you can very easily practice it like this so one of my favorite ways that I practice counter strafing whenever I um, started learning this game and whenever I started practicing this game was just to go back and forth like while tracking a target. So whether it's one of these bots or one of these bots. So for example, what we were seeing in the um, in the thing is that he was starting to shoot between his counter strafes because the bots were spawning. So what you want to do is you can go easy bots um, and you can even turn on strafes as well and you can just counter strafe back and forth make sure you are just going to their heads and make sure you're just tracking their heads as you're going back and forth just like practice doing the counter strafing movement as you track their heads so with your mouse you just go back and forth like this and then Whenever you get really comfortable doing this, having your crosshair steadily on their head the entire time, that's when you can start incorporating your shots at the end of your counter strafe. So that's when you can really start feeling it out. So you see here, and you can see that even I miss because I'm not, you know, I'm not perfect with counter strafing and I still have to warm up. So you really have to feel it out. As you can see here, now that I've gotten a little better feel for it, I can much easier or much more easily get my counter strafes down and you can see that i still miss occasionally because i'm not the you know i'm not perfect and um there is still a lot for me to learn so this is probably an exercise that i'm actually going to start doing as i realize that i'm not the best counter strafer either and it's probably going to help me improve a lot so that is how you should be practicing your counter strafing if you have the same issues as him. Thank you guys for watching. I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will be answering them as fast as I can.